Okay. So there's lots of these on 6.1. You go through it and just they have things like, you know, license plates and and passwords and how many passwords are this and how many strings exist. There's lots of stuff like that where it all kind of gets down to, you know, how do I work it out? Another kind of an interesting example would be something like, let's say we do, um, we have integers between 10 and 99. In other words, I don't want to start off with ones. I want all two-digit numbers. So this is all two-digit numbers, 10 to 99. So I'm just dealing with two digit numbers and I'm going to have the following question. Uh, how many are divisible by three? What do you notice about numbers that are divisible by three? How far apart are they? They're all three apart, right? So if I would have them, if they're divisible by three, in other words, what's the remainders? The remainders are zero, one, or two. So all numbers, right, all numbers have a remainder of zero, one, or two when you divide by three. So that would tell us that if I would say the infinite numbers, there are a third of them are divisible by three, they have a remainder of zero. A third of them have a remainder of one and a third of them have a remainder of two. Does that make sense? So if I had an infinite amount of numbers, a third and a third and a third are divisible by three. What if I said divisible by seven? How many would be divisible by seven? One seventh. And then how many would not be divisible by seven? Six sevenths. The other, like one seventh would have a remainder of one, one seventh would have, well, just put them all together and just say six sevenths if I say not divisible by seven. Okay, so divisible by three normally is a third, right? It's normally a third. All right, how many integers are there between 99 and 10? That's equal to how many ints? How'd you get 89? If we subtract, I right, say, let's say we do 1, 2, and 3, and 4. Yes, we're, we're up between and including. It's one of those things. If there's ever a doubt in what I say, ask specific. If there's ever a doubt when you're talking to somebody, like, did you mean between? Because between would actually be what? Not 89, but 88, right? If I include it, it's going to be what? <coughs> There's 90 of them, right? 89 plus 1, because the first is your zeroth, right? Like, for example, here, from 1 to 4. If I take 4 minus 1, I get what? 3, but that means there's actually 3. That 3, what did you really count? 4 minus 1 counts the what? The gaps. When you subtract the ends, you get the gaps. So how many norm, how many numbers are there? Gaps plus one, right? Which would take you back to four numbers. But if I said strictly between, do I really mean two, which is gaps minus one? And so that's one of the things. Like when you said between, did you mean between including the endpoints, or not? <laughs> you say if you mean including the endpoints, you're like for one to four is four. If you said not the one, you meant three. If you said gaps, you mean three. If you mean between between and not the endpoints, then you mean two. <laughs> so for us, I meant including the endpoints. And so we have a total of 90. So if I gave you 90 sequential numbers, how many are divisible by three? 30. How many are divisible by four? No, 
normally it would be what? 1 fourth of total. But what is 90 divided by 4? What's half of 90? What's half of 45? Hmm? Half of 45 is 22.5. All right, well now we have a problem. In other words, this wasn't an exact multiple of 4. So what this is going to is 22.5 tells us what? There are either going to be 22 or there are going to be 23. We got to figure out which. All right, here's the idea. For the numbers, say, 1, 2, 3, 4, right, has what? We have four numbers. If I say div by 3, what's 4 divided by 3? That is 1.3 repeating, right? Which means the answer is either going to be 1 or it's going to be 2. For these numbers, between 1 and 4, how many are divisible by 3? For 1 to 4, it is only going to be it's this because it's only we have only three. What would have happened if I would have had a different four group of four numbers? What if I would have had three, four, five, and six? How many numbers do you see? That's four numbers. And your div by three is four thirds, which is equal to 1.3 repeating, which is either going to be one or two. It's two because it's three and six. So what happens? You have this window. If the window does not perfectly match your div, what happens is if the window always has the possibility of getting both of the ends hitting, and then you get the higher number, or if both of the ends are essentially empty, you get the lower number. So as the window moves, it's like, oh, one, oh, now two, oh, back to one, now two, back to one. So see how that idea works? Think about the harder problem. All the way up here now. We are doing 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, all the way up to 96, 97, 98, and 99. And I say div by 4. And I found out that I was taking 90 divided by 4, and I got my 22.5, so it's either going to be 22 or it's going to be 23. The question is, which is it? <coughs> Where's my first div by 4? 12. That's my first div by 4. Where's my last div by 4? How'd you know? Because 100 is like, that's very easy one. So 100 we knew was divisible by 4, so 4 in front of it, 1, 2, that would be a remainder 3, remainder 2, remainder 1, so it's 96. So from 12 to 96, how many are there? How many multiples of 4 are from 12 to 96? Could you find out a way to do this? Besides counting. Could you think of a way of doing this? So we could start off at 12 plus how many 4s is equal to 96, right? How many 4 steps away? So that's n times 4. What's 96 minus 12? And what's 84 divided by 4? What? Which? What number? 21. So my first number is 12. One step away is 16. Two steps away is 20. 21 steps away is 
96. So 96 is 21 steps away. So how many total numbers do we have? 22. So we have 21 steps away. That means that 22 is the answer. What if I found 96 would have rather been 22 steps away? What would have been your answer? It would have been 23. <laughs> is everybody okay with that? How we got to the 22? Here comes a fun one. How many are divisible by 2? Setting up a little bit of a problem. How many total number were there? If it's divisible by 2, it would be about what? So it would be half. So what's 90 divided by 2? So there's 45 that are, that are even. There's 45 evens. How many are divisible by 2 or 3? All of a sudden, I have a word or. Oh, so it looks like we would say that the divisible by 2 or 3 should be the cardinality of by 2 plus the cardinality by 3. But that would only be true if they're what? If they're disjoint. But are there any numbers that when I counted divisible by 2 that I also counted when they were divisible by 3? 12. What else? Well, between 10. So we have 12. What would be the next one? 18. How far is 18 from 12? It's 6. In other words, what do we have to do? What's the intersection? And 3, which is really by what? To be divisible by 2 and divisible by 3 means you have to be divisible by 6. <laughs> So the only way I can do this problem is I need to know by 6. So what is the by 6? That's equal to 90 over 6, which is? What's 90 over 2? 45. 45 divided by 3? Hmm? I heard like several right now. 4 divided by 3? 15. My ears aren't not good. So what's my answer? 2 or 3 is how many were by 2? How many by 3? 30. And then I take away 15, which is equal to 60.